Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting update coming from the folks at Quixel alongside with the folks at RD Textures. So RD Textures is now part of the Quixel Mega Scans, and this is just pretty impressive news. And what this means is at this point you can now take advantage of the fact that Quixel offers lots and lots of textures, 3D assets, and you know lovely decals for free for Unreal Engine users as these are now expanding in terms of library content. And so RD Textures are now part of the Quixel Mega Scan. Which means Unreal Engine users can now take advantage of all of the textures that is made available by the folks at RD Textures and use them in their games, cinematics, and so much more. And it's also worth knowing that if you would like to take advantage of this, you'd need to go over to Quixel, where you can download the Quixel Bridge and start working with it. One thing to also keep in mind is if you're working with anything that is coming from the folks at Epic Games, the final destination needs to be in Unreal Engine. So trying to render these things in Blender, Unity, Maya, or any other DCC app is sort of going against the licensing of these tools. So how you can get started with this is by simply downloading the Quixel Bridge. The Quixel Bridge is a standalone tool that actually allows you access the Megascan set of assets and allow you work directly within your desktop. So to get started with this, you need to download the Quixel Bridge and of course you need to create an account. You can notice right here that at this point we have 16,467 plus assets, which is a huge set of assets that anyone can actually work with. So if you like to work with this, all you need to do is go over to let's say 3D assets for example and you can search through the categories that exist then this is quite impressive if you'd like to see some plants you'd like to see some you know surfaces decals all of these things are available so how do you tell the RD textures that are currently available with pixel so to do that you need to click right here and type in the word RD and you know textures are the T and then you get RD textures and if you click you will see all of the textures that exist with this so at this point, you can search through all of these textures. There's uh, quite a number of textures that you can get from here. And you can find any of them, download them, and send them over to the DCC app of choice that you'll be using to compile your final scene that will be rendered in Unreal Engine. Or you can simply send this directly to Unreal Engine. So to download any of these things is as simple as, you know, hovering on top of it, clicking on this download button, and allow it to download. Now, most of you guys might be asking, how do you send this to Unreal Engine and also how do you send this to the DCC app of choice that you would like to work with? First things first, if you do have an account, go over to edit, go over to the section where you have as manage plugins and from here you can download the respective plugins for the DCC app of choice. So if you like to download for Maya, Unity, Blender, Cinema 4D, Clarice, Mamoset, you can download all of this. So if you like to send this to Blender for example, once you have it downloaded, let's just simply click and close that. So once you have it downloaded, you can click and then you can make sure that you set the export setting. Now, how you can set the export settings is by simply going over to the edit section, go down here to where you have export settings and make sure you change the target to Blender. So if you're also setting this, you don't want to export it to Maya, the same thing, you want to export this to, um, let's say 3D Studio Max, the same thing. And this goes for every other thing. So Blender it is, select Blender, click on this button, and this is definitely going to export it over to Blender. So what we're going to do is just fire up Blender and you would not literally see anything here because we don't have a surface we want to put this on. So I'm just going to put this on this surface. So I have this selected, go right over here, uh, click on the material section, click on the drop down, and you'd notice that we have a ground rubble. So once we do that, tap Z on the keyboard, switch this to rendering. Voila, you see we have it here. So I'm just going to make a duplicate move this around and you can see how cool this is and this is not only for materials if you're also thinking about doing this for 3d assets as well you would like to compile some asset before you send it over to unreal engine for rendering yes you can if we go over to the local section we can see some assets that we've downloaded already and we can send this asset off so just going to scroll through this and let's uh shift this over to Blender and the same way that you're moving this over to Blender is exactly the same way you're going to move this over to some DCC apps. Now certain apps would require you to select plugin, you know, folders and all that stuff. And we're going to talk about that in a bit. So let's jump over to Blender and take a look at what we have and you can see it. So we also have this right here. So, you know, the only downside to having this is you are not required by law to do your final rendering here. If you would like to do your final rendering, like I mentioned, you have to take a look at licensing and actually purchase a license for that. Now, if you want to send this to Unreal Engine, what you need to do is go over here. So regardless of the version of Unreal Engine, go over here, go right over to the section where you have the Unreal Engine and you can select the version of choice. So in this case, we're using the 4.26. I'm going to select that, 
select the plugin folder. So in case you have no idea where the plugin folder is, simply search the directory where your Unreal Engine is saved and that way you can find the plugin folder. Then you also need to point the direction to the current project or the default project you're working on. So in this case, we've actually set up all of that. And then with Unreal Engine open right here, you would notice we have nothing. So I'm just going to go in and let's select something. Maybe we can send this. All right. So I'm just going to click on this right here. Let's go all the way back so you can see it's a 2K file. Click on the word export and this is going to export it over to Unreal Engine. So it's sort of a, a good file. So I'm just going to go in and jump over to Unreal Engine and you would see that we have it right here. Let's just go ahead and orbit around this. Click, drag and drop. All right. So let's drop that bad boy in there. Move it across. Ooh, looking pretty. So you can see that. So in this case, we can just bring that in. We can also jump all the way back and look for some textures. Textures are good. So let's look for some textures we already have here. And I'm just going to go in and select surfaces. All right. So maybe we can throw in the surface. Maybe we should use this. Click on this button and it exports it and brings it right over here. And one thing which you would notice is if you're sending this over to your Megascan for the very first time, you would notice right about here that it creates a folder called Megascan and your 3D assets exist in a folder. The surfaces exist in a different folder and you can start working with it. So in this case, if we like to apply this texture, we can click and drag and drop that texture there. And you know, on the other hand, if you like to apply it to a surface and you don't want to do a click and drag, you can select the surface of choice and you notice around here you have the material. So you can click, drag, drop it right there. And that is how easy it is. So if you already own an RD texture account and you have a couple of textures that you already purchased or you have them saved as some collections in your RD texture account, you can simply go over, log in and download these from now till the 3rd of April. So for those who like to take a look at this, you want to read more about it, you want to check out and some of the things that the folks at RD Textures have done, or probably you want to test out Quixel, you like to download it, you want to see some of the cool things that you can now do with Quixel. Links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.